safety as there were elevated concerns leading up to today with threatening comments as well as potential violent protests outside of the facility, which we have not seen yet today. Of course, this case still remains very controversial here. Uh, her release comes less than two weeks after the Wright family marked two years since Potter shot and killed him during a traffic stop. I remember Potter argued she mistook her taser for her gun. Now, Potter will actually head to Wisconsin to serve out her remaining eight months under supervised release, which is part of an agreement Minnesota has with states around the country. Now, she'll have to adhere to a number of conditions that includes regular contact with an agent assigned uh, to her uh, to oversee her supervised release. She must also comply to random unannounced visits as well as searches of her property and regular drug and alcohol testing. And she also will not be able to buy any type of firearm or dangerous weapons. But new this morning, as of right now, Kim Potter is no longer here at the Minnesota Corrections Facility in China. So Kim Potter was released at about four o'clock. See, personally for me, you know, this is right here. This is like a, a slap on the wrist. Don't do it again. A slap on the wrist. And they, they do that, you know, especially, you know, um, for the white, for the white women, especially, you know, especially for white women. Um, I remember um, a, another shooting. I don't know if she was a cop. But uh, no, no, I think she was. This, I think this happened in Texas. I forgot her name was when uh, she walked into the wrong. She walked into somebody else's the wrong house and she, and she shot up. She shot a black man. Brittany Ryan. Uh, uh, I forgot. I, I know who you're talking about. You this know, was I, I, forgot, yeah. I forgot her name. And you know, and and then her, for her, you know, you know, they gave her a, a, like kind of like a tap on the wrist, a short sentence. But my thing is, it's like you know, if you look at the evidence, you like I said. She thought she pulled out her, like her taser pulled out a gun. My thing is, ma'am, it's, it's a difference when you pull something out and and you shoot somebody with a gun set with a taser. Everybody know that. Especially if you're an officer, you pull something out, you pull up the wrong thing. Come on now. That's kind of common sense. And now, you know, with her, you released early and everything. It's like, you know, personally for me, it's like, you know, this. You know, if, if if we're showing this out of of, of seeing like a, of a, a police officer uh, for, uh, of just not having the common sense to pull out a, a, a taser and, and instead of pulling out the gun, this just shows to you, it's like, hey, this can happen in any other cities of, 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 of a police officer might be a white person, especially maybe a white woman who can just actually pull something and say, oh, I didn't mean to, I put out my wall rampant. And, and then, you know, they'll use that and then they'll get a slap on the wrist. So um, I'm not surprised, that, like I said, I'm, I'm not surprised that she got out early. You know, I will not be surprised in, in the next three or four years ago if she, if she go back to law, law enforcement. Maybe not in Minnesota, but maybe in another city or say something like that. But for me, like I said, I'm not surprised that she got out. And um, I mean, if, like I said, if you want to, people, if you want to, you know, if y'all want to get these people and, and, and uh, make sure they go into jail, you know, make sure you have good lawyers and everything and make sure you have the evidence to really can step it down. And also, to, like, I don't know what's when they when she was in charge. Did she have like a jury trial? I don't remember. Uh, me either. I, I didn't stay. Um, um, yeah, I, I didn't, didn't stay. Yeah, I didn't stay. Well, I, didn't um, stay. I, didn't no, stay. I don't think she, I don't I, think she had a jury trial. No, I don't no, think so. Did. Oh, OK. I was going to she plead. I think she plead. She did a plea deal. Oh, okay. I, I got it. But um, but yeah, that's that's my take on it. But this is the this is the thing. Us as black people, I think we don't really stand for nothing. I'm just being honest with you because look at look prime example. This woman right here not even supposed to be let free, but yet we allow her to be let free. And like I and I totally agree with you, Jordan, on this aspect. I won't be surprised she'd be able to get a job by next year. I'm just giving it the buck because that's what happened with another former officer over there with the Bianca Taylor. He now just got rehired over there in Kentucky. So it just show you that we as black people, we, we always sweep things underneath the rug. And then we complain about it. We say the justice system is not fair. The white man is always trying to get us. We don't really, they don't really care about us because of the situation. The reason why they don't really care about us is because we don't really stand for nothing. At least they're, at least they're kind of stand for something. They know if something's wrong, they're going to go and fight for it. Right now they're trying to fight for um, the quote unquote deletion of you already know. People going, they find in Supreme Court, they going, they going to different meetings, they going to different trials to try to get things, get laws in place. So stuff like with stuff, stuff like that won't happen. But black folks, well, this happened. Okay, slap on the wrist. Then next year, then the next year, then the next year, then the next year. 
it's like it's a um, it, bro. We just we we just a weird race, and it seems like we don't want to do better. And this is why people laugh at us at the end of the day. That's my take. Um, brothers, I I'm gonna speak from the point, um, and I'm gonna have to agree with Roni on this one. I think that um reason why this happens ever since the inception of us being on this country, we never took a a, a stand on certain things and come to a collective front. This is why things are so fragmented and stuff like this could happen. Why nobody focusing on um, local elections? Why we can't, because you know, you got to vote the police chief in and all this other stuff in and vote these people in who handle these type of stuff, who appoints this and appoint this type of people. Why people are not involved in changing the police trainings? Like it's a whole number of different things we could be involved in, but we don't. So this is just an example that more of our brothers and sisters are going to be under attack. A lot of lives are going to be lost and police are going to be released and be able to go home and still keep their pensions. So I don't see nothing wrong with this. I just see this as a, we just have to chuck it as another, another, another L and call it a day. That's my take. <laughs> oh, <Haki, that's> very, <laughs> that's very strong, my brother, but it's the facts. It's the facts. And uh, this is a question for you guys on the panel. I just want to know, um, what should we do as black people so stuff like this won't happen again? Well, personally for me, we need to start uh, looking at these uh, when, when uh, elections come up, especially not 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 really the, the presidential election, but I think that's where every uh, black people show up. It's really the midterm election that uh, black people that really don't show up. You know, that, that's really like, you know, the governor, the, you know, the, electing the governor and also electing, you know, who's, who's married and everything. We have to really dig, dig deep and dig down. And also, you know, and I can see that, I'm gonna say this in our, in our black community, we always, you know, we always fought for the Democrat. It's so, I mean, people that was born and raised in the Democrat, first for me, it's cool, it's okay to get out and just and look at each other's views for the Republican or Democrat. You get what I'm saying? And I feel like, you know, in our black community, we just, you know, we ride or die for the Democrat. And, you know, because they'll give us like chump chains and everything. That's not the case. Personally, for me, for trusting our black people, when you look at our, our people that's uh, you try to elect, look at what they look what they try to do for the black community. What are they gonna do for you? If you're not they gonna do anything for you, don't 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 vote for them. And I th and I and I really think you know in our community we we lack that of of, of, of we worry about what they gonna do for everybody else instead of what they are gonna do exactly in the black community. And we just, and that right there we need to learn and fix that. That's on me. Go ahead, I can. Um, I, I personally feel that um, if people would just follow a strict way of cooperative economics and, and, and try to do what the Chinese and the Indian Americans have done, mind your business, decou decouple from the matrix, you know what I mean? We give them, what, $1. trillion a year of our money um, for free? If we stop giving them money and we stop going to towns, we stop doing this, stop buying this, stop them, then they're going to be willing to listen to us. We're like, hey, we, we losing a little money. We're going to have to do a little demands. The America cannot survive without the black dollar. It would literally struggle. So, you know what I mean? There's a lot of things we can do if we come together as a, as a, um, like, 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 like as a people, man. But I think the problem is everybody thinks so differently that it's hard. That's my take. And this is why it's so important to like, share, and subscribe and hit that notification bell on the right hand side. Remember to click all because we do go live each and every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, six o'clock Eastern time. And also go on the community tab in the community tab, the KR Culture Radio t shirt, Prince Hakeem new book. Come and support the platform like y'all normally do. Like always, thank you for tuning in to KR Culture Radio. We are over and out. Peace. Peace. Peace, peace.